Hello, Bay Broncos. It's Mrs. W. Happy winter break. It's hard to believe, but we have the next two weeks off from distance learning. We're going to miss you, um, but I hope that you have a wonderful two weeks. This last week was really exciting because we had spirit week. Uh, today was favorite outfit day, so you'll notice I'm wearing a little Mickey Mouse. Um, so have a wonderful two weeks. Take some time off, relax, and recharge. I know myself and the Bay staff, we're going to take some time off and spend some time with our families, and we hope that you do the same, but stay safe. Uh, we miss you and we love you. And today, I have kind of a long book, so I'm going to get started. You may recognize these ladies. Frozen! Look, I have Elsa on my ears. So I'm going to be reading Frozen about Elsa and Anna. When Princess Elsa and Princess Anna of Arendelle were little girls, they were the best of friends. Anna was one of the only people who knew Elsa's secret. Elsa had the power to make snow and ice with just her hands. One night, Elsa filled an empty ballroom with snow. The sisters played together, building a snowman, sledding, and ice skating. Snowman. But as they played, Elsa lost control. She accidentally hit Anna with a blast of icy magic. Anna was badly hurt, so her parents went to the ancient mountain trolls for help. There, the wise old troll told them that Anna could be saved. She was lucky to have been hit in the head, not the heart. Even though Anna got better, her parents worried that people would fear Elsa's powers. To keep her gift a secret, they surrounded the castle with walls and never let anyone inside. But whenever Elsa had strong feelings, the magic still spilled out. Elsa didn't want to hurt her sister again, so she never played with Anna. That made Anna feel very lonely. Even after their parents were lost in a storm at sea, the sisters didn't spend any time together. Years later, it was time for Elsa to become Queen of Arendelle. For just that day, the castle gates were open. Hundreds of people attended the crowning ceremony. Elsa worked hard to hide her feelings and her powers. Anna loved meeting all the new people. I wish it could be like this all the time. Me too. At the coronation party, Anna danced with handsome Prince Hans from the Southern Isles. He made her heart flutter. It seemed like they had everything in common. Because the gates were open, just because the gates were just open for one day, Hans and Anna knew this was their only chance to be together. Can I say something crazy? Will you marry me? Yes. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Anna and Hans asked Elsa for her blessing, but Elsa thought their engagement was a bad idea. You can't marry a man you just met. My answer is no. Anna couldn't believe it. Why do you shut me out? What are you so afraid of? Elsa started to lose control. Enough! As she shouted, ice shot from her hands. Everyone stared at Elsa in shock. Now all of Arendelle knew Elsa's secret. Elsa panicked and fled for the mountains. Anna felt horrible. Elsa's out-of-control powers had created a terrible winter storm in the middle of summer. I'll bring her back and I'll make this right. She left Hans in charge of the kingdom and raced after Elsa on her horse. But as Anna rode through the fierce wind, her horse threw her into the snow and ran back to Arendelle. Luckily, Anna met an ice harvester named Kristoff and his reindeer dear friend Sven. She asked them for help. I know how to stop this winter. Together, they set off to look for Elsa. As they climbed the mountain, Anna and Kristoff discovered a beautiful winter wonderland. There they met an enchanted snowman named Olaf. Anna thought he looked familiar. Olaf, did Elsa build you? Olaf smiled. Yeah, why? Do you know where she is? Yeah, why? Kristoff got to the point. We need Elsa to bring back summer. Olaf was eager to help them. Come on. Meanwhile, Hans was hard at work keeping the people, helping the people of Arendelle. But when Anna's horse came back to the castle without her, Hans knew he couldn't stay. Princess Anna is in trouble, Hans turned to the crowd. I need volunteers to go with me to find her. Soon Hans and some soldiers set out in search of Anna and Elsa. Back on the mountain, Olaf led Anna and Kristoff to a giant ice palace that Elsa had created with her powers. Even Kristoff was impressed. Now that's ice. Inside, Anna told Elsa about the terrible storm in Arendelle. It's okay, you can just unfreeze it. Elsa looked worried. I don't know how. That's not good. Elsa was afraid that if she went back, she would just make the storm worse. Arendelle and Anna might be better off without her. What am I going to do? It's a beautiful castle. 
Anna tried over and over again to convince Elsa to come home, but Elsa was too scared that she would hurt more people. As Elsa argued with her sister, an icy wave of magic burst from her body and struck Anna in the chest. Anna! Anna stood up and looked at Elsa. No, I'm not leaving without you, Elsa. Yes, you are. Elsa knew what she had to do. Elsa used her magic to create a huge snowman. I think that's pretty creative. He chased the friends out of the palace towards the tall cliff. Kristoff pulled out a rope to help them climb down. What if we fall? There's 20 feet of fresh powder down there. It will be like landing on a pillow, hopefully. They leaped over the edge and landed safely on, a fluff on the fluffy snow below. They had escaped from the snowman, but Anna had other things to worry about. Anna's hair was turning snowy white. It's because she struck you, isn't it? Kristoff brought Anna to the trolls, hoping they could help. One troll told them that Elsa's icy magic had struck Anna's heart. If the magic was not reversed, Anna would soon be frozen solid. Only an act of true love could thaw a frozen heart. Anna knew she loved Hans. Maybe a kiss from him would work. As the friends hurried toward Arendelle, Anna began to shiver. Kristoff was especially worried about her. He was starting to care for Anna. At that moment, Hans and his soldiers had arrived at the ice palace and attacked Elsa. As she defended herself, Elsa trapped one of her attacker attackers behind icy spikes. Hans cried out to her, Queen Elsa, don't be the monster they fear you are. Elsa paused, but in her moment of doubt, she was knocked out. The attackers brought her back to Arendelle and threw her in the dungeon. When Anna arrived in Arendelle, she said goodbye to Kristoff and Olaf. Then she raced to see Hans. As soon as they were alone, Anna asked Hans to save her with a kiss. But Hans refused. Anna realized that he only pretended to love her. He wanted to take over Arendelle by getting rid of Elsa and Anna. All that's left now is to kill Elsa and bring back Summer. Hans left Anna alone and shivering. Luckily, Olaf found her and helped her warm up by the fire. But Anna was still getting weaker and weaker. As Anna told him about Hans's evil plan, Olaf glanced out the window and saw Kristoff racing toward the castle. He realized that Kristoff loved Anna. There's your act of true love right there. It was Kristoff that Anna needed to kiss. With the last of her strength, Anna struggled outside. Meanwhile, Elsa had escaped from the dungeon, but Hans was close behind her. Elsa, you can't run from this. Hans told Elsa about her magic blast, blast to Anna's heart. I tried to save her, but it was too late. Elsa collapsed in the snow and closed her eyes. Everything she had done to protect her sister had failed, and it was all her fault. Nearby, Anna was hurrying toward Kristoff when she heard the clang of Hans' sword. She turned and saw her sister Elsa was in danger. Instead of saving herself and running to Kristoff, Anna leapt in front of her sister. No! As Hans swung the sword, it shattered against Anna's frozen body. She had turned to solid ice. Anna clutched her sister. I mean, Elsa clutched her sister. Oh, Anna, no, please, no. Suddenly, Anna began to thaw. Her arms, warm again, reached around Elsa and the two sisters hugged. As Olaf watched them, he remembered what the wise old troll had said. An act of true love will thaw a frozen heart. Anna's love for Elsa had saved both of them and the kingdom. Soon, the two sisters were best friends again, and Summer had returned to Arendelle. Even Elsa even made Olaf a little snow cloud to keep him from melting. One day, Elsa had a surprise for Anna. The castle gates were wide open. We're never closing them again. The sisters smiled at each other. Now everything was the way it was supposed to be. Frozen. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I hope that you have a wonderful two weeks. And remember, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. I miss you and I love you. Take care of yourselves and be safe. Bye, Broncos.